This video will inspire the sh** out of you. This woman was limping, struggling with her hip. She even pulled over on the side of the road to stretch out her hip while her rivals disappeared up the road. She needs to stop. Somebody needs to give her advice and tell her to stop running. This is not good. But Safan Hassan, a former refugee who left for the Netherlands as a 15 year old, did not stop. This is how she pulled one of the most stunning comebacks in marathon history. You gotta see this to believe it. April 23, 2023, a wet and rainy London marathon with a stellar lineup. This was dubbed as potentially the greatest women's marathon race. You had the current world record holder, reigning Olympic champion, last year's London marathon winner, to name just a few. There was some serious elite competition. Serious. And before the race, Safan had this to say. What the hell I decide to run this <laughs> Why I decided to run in this marathon, you know? So although Safan is a double Olympic champion in the 5K and the 10K, she'd actually never raced a marathon before. Yes, this was her first ever marathon race. So no wonder she was crying herself to sleep. So then the race started and she started off pretty strong. And while she was off to a swift start, then the trouble started setting in. She started struggling with what seemed to be an injury to her hip and she started limping. At one point, she even pulled over to the side of the road and came to a complete stop to stretch out her hip. Paula Radcliffe, who had won the London Marathon three times before, said she needs to stop. Little pauses to try and stretch it off is not doing anything. If you're going to do that, stop and do that properly. She's kind of doing it for three, four seconds. That's not going to do anything really. She needs to stop. No. Somebody needs to give her some advice to, to step off and stop trying to run on. She maybe doesn't know what to do in a marathon. And whilst her rivals disappeared swiftly up the road, Safan just kept going. A bit later into the race, she actually caught up. This is pretty incredible, to be honest. I mean, you, we, we were kind of thinking, and probably she was thinking, my race is over. Yes, she actually started to catch up to the race leaders. But then, another disaster struck. In the marathon, just coming over onto the run. Oh, and what is she doing now? And there, Hassan, frankly, showing all her inexperience. Whilst she was gaining momentum and had now caught to the front of the pack, in addition to the injury, she forgot to collect a drink from the drink station, veering across the road to collect her bottle. And you know what she had to say about that after the race? She said, I'm born to have drama, she joked. I didn't practice getting a drink. I saw that other athletes go and I thought, where are they going? So I grabbed a drink. That's what she said. Like, yeah, Safan, this is not the biggest race of your life. On the hip problem, she even said that she forgot to tape it in the morning. Unbelievably enough, once she got the drink, she offered it to a competitor who had also missed the drink station. Now let me know in the comments if you think that's just a psychological game or that's actually genuinely in her nature. Look guys, there's marathon runners, elite marathon runners, and then you got Sifan Hassan, all right? She's just in another category, legend. And neither Ramadan could stop her, which is definitely not ideal preparation for a race. But in the end, the grueling two hour race came down to a sprint in the final few meters. And against all odds, she grittingly won the 2023 London Marathon in a time of two hours, 18 minutes and 33 seconds. Incredible. The crazy thing though, is that this is not the first time Safan has come back from a catastrophic disaster in a race to go on and actually win it. She actually fell over racing during the 1500 meters in the Tokyo Olympics. She closed up a big gap and still qualified. And in the very same evening that happened, she actually won gold in the 5,000 meters. By the way, big shout out to Gabriel who shared that fact with me on LinkedIn. Look guys, I don't know much about marathons or racing, but I love to make these videos for one reason. And the morale I get from Safan's story is this. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Safan is a prime example of that where the naysayers and the doubters, as experienced as they might have been, said she should stop. But you know what Safan did? She, she kept going. She trusted her gut. She listened to her heart because this is her story and she's the only one who can write it. And if there's any advice for you guys this week, take a page out of Safan's book. Trust yourself. Trust your gut. You got this. And if you like this video, 
See you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Comment what you want to see next. Hope to inspire you guys more with these videos. All right? Peace.